Back in the day, Dorothy Hamill was stunning as the 19-year-old phenom, skating her way to a gold medal in the 1976 Olympics in Austria. She was America's sweetheart then, and today she's every bit as lovely. And she's got a new goal, getting America moving. Her Olympic days are behind her, but all that competing took a toll on her body. Dorothy Hamill has osteoarthritis. I remember my grandmother being very disabled with, uh, with arthritis. I don't have a photograph where she wasn't in the cervical collar. And when I was 44 years old, you know, I was wearing the same cervical collar. Mine was, you know, probably as a result of a lot of bad falls and, um, you know, abuse to my body as an ice skater, slamming into the board. So I, I guess I thought maybe it might happen someday, but I didn't think it would happen so young. And she's had to find ways to deal with it. I noticed I, when I got into yoga a few years ago, I had no idea that that would make my arthritis feel better. And it was, my joints were less achy and, you know, less stiffness. She's reaching out to others to help them manage their pain. Her new website is meant to encourage arthritis sufferers. It's a campaign that's designed to reach out to um, Americans, um, adults that are suffering from osteoarthritis, and it's through social media. It's, so it's, a, it's designed to be a community where you can share your stories, you can learn about how to manage osteoarthritis. The campaign is sponsored by AstraZeneca. Their spokesperson, Dorothy Hamill, is hoping to make a difference coming into your living room or your computer screen once again. Go to facebook.com slash getmovingamerica and start your customized program today. It was a real pleasure meeting Dorothy Hamill. Well, it's not just arthritis that can be helped with exercise. Just about anything that's challenging you health-wise can benefit from it. Well, joining me now is Dr. Jordan Metzler. Jordan, good to see you back on the show. Nice to be back. All right, so you are the exercise guy, and, and I love this because I'm a huge fan of exercise, as you know. And now you, your book, The Exercise Cure, is out, and it really talks about exercise as being a prescription for health. Explain that. That's right, Steve. So, you know, the overall concept is I think people know exercise is good for them, but the idea of this book was to look at the medicine of exercise. And so I took a number of health problems and looked at what's the evidence for exercise, for the treatment of depression, anxiety, sleep problems, erectile dysfunction, even certain types of cancer respond very well on the preventive side to exercise. So I looked at the science behind that. And then the second part, I looked at actually implementing exercise plans for people at whatever stage of fitness they're at. So basically, this is not for people who are worried, oh, I can't exercise. Exercise is basically activity. It's movement. And it's something that more and more studies are showing is essential for people to be healthy. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I want everybody, if they're 8 or 85, to get up and move, and move every single day, minimum 150 minutes a week. And I try and give the prescription to do that, and then also talk about certain diseases like arthritis and depression that mm -hmm. respond very well to exercise. All right, so I just want to hear, hear what you said there. 150 minutes a week, that's just over two hours. Anybody, for an entire week, Yeah. anybody can do that. Now, you talk about something called NEAT. What is that explain? Great. So NEAT is a great acronym, and it's non-exercise active thermogenesis. And what that means in English right. is <laughs> that you basically build in activities throughout your day. So as America has become more high tech, you know, you can order dinner by just touching a button on your mm -hmm. phone and you can pull right up to wherever you're going. And we've just taken activity out of our daily lives. And not surprisingly, we're getting fatter and we're getting less healthy and we're getting more diseases. So the idea of NEAT is just putting in different exercises in your day. Park your car further away, walk more, take an extra subway stop and walk back to your destination, move throughout the day, sitting for hours and hours a day literally is the new smoking. It, it'll kill you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a part of the confusion. I say, when we say, listen, we need you to exercise, people are thinking, oh, that means I got to join the gym. It means I got to lift weights or I got to get on the treadmill. It's not that. What we're saying is move. Just move. You could not say anything. I think if you're already exercising, we want the next part, but just move is the exact right advice. Okay, so so we got the movement part. Yeah. We know exercise is important, just getting moving. But that's really only one part of the equation. There's a whole nother part, and that talks about nutrition. And you cover that in the book, don't you? That's right. So the last part of the book talks about nutrition. And my basic, it's it, the, the part of that section of the book just says basically if it's natural, if it's found in nature, eat it. If it's, if it's going to expire in 2020, don't eat it. Right. Or if there's a big ingredients list and it comes in a box and you can't read half of what's in there, yeah. 
that's processed and means you shouldn't eat it. Is it that hard to follow? Is it expensive? It is probably a little more expensive, but I think once you get used to buying and shopping that way, I think it's actually a lot easier to do, but there's a bit of a shift because it's a lot easier at the onset to start eating unhealthily. All right, but but I, I just real quick, talk about the difference. How long do you think in your experience when you take care of patients and they do this, how long does it take for them to feel better? Well, at the beginning of the book, I have like a wheel called the extra cycle and it talks about making these healthy choices and eating and activity. And once you get on that cycle, it just feels so good to be on that. And I think even about six weeks, you can start to see blood pressure changes, heart rate changes, and your whole body just feels a lot better. Yeah, I can tell you that it really works. There are people that, that I deal with, I've gotten onto these programs, and they come to me and they say, wow, who knew that just watching what you ate and exercising can make such a big difference? Dr. Jordan Metzl, thanks so much for coming. Pleasure, thank you. Great information. All right, folks, coming up next, your doctor's order.